Hello everyone, I've decided to stop editing my videos because that gets rid of good content and I like my content so please don't get mad if you've realized um, that everything's changing on my channel. But today I want to show you what a presentation, what a good school-like presentation would look like between um high school between a presentation for a based on a class for like a project and a reflection on something first i'm going to start with a school project this school project my um well my economics teacher loved very much because i did a good job with doing Hasbro and this is basically what it looked like you can tell that I had a whole bunch of pictures added and and I did it on Hasbro because it was a lot easier because I loved My Little Pony at the time and I was a senior so it made it a really easy topic for me so the way you start it off as you can see in the bottom corner right here you have the name of the business I was doing it on I put economics project so that my teacher would give me full credit on listing what type of project it was for you're gonna wanna put your name at the very bottom after your title which I put by Dawson Washak 03-23-17 cause you they will take off points if you just put 3-23-17 which is very bizarre but um you can see I put Optimus because Transformers was a part of Hasbro Power Rangers was part of Hasbro G.I. Joe was a part of Hasbro and a bunch of other things were a part of Hasbro I've said Hasbro so much um but basically if I hit space I go to the next slide which you're gonna if you're doing an economics one, they're going to ask who founded this company. And if you want to pause and read what I put on this slide, feel free to do that. But I'm only going to be staying on it for a short period of time. As you can see, I put enough information so that it would be easy to summarize because they don't want you looking at the screen. Because if you're looking at the screen, it means you didn't try and at least summarize or memorize some of the stuff so that you could summarize it. You're gonna wanna put what ha what the business was and what it did. Uh, it, if you wanna pause on any of these slides, feel free to do so, it's your choice. As you can look, I listed some of the things that they made and I put what year it was founded in what type of industry, what they were popular for, and a bunch of other things. <clears throat> You're also going to want to list where it was founded, because if you don't list where it was founded, it will take a lot off of your credit, off of your points deducted. So I'm just making this video so it makes it a lot easier for you guys who are still in school and have no idea how to work Prezi presentations um <coughs> you're gonna want to put the year the names and how it was founded and what it was meant for and where it was founded in next you're gonna want to put when it was founded so that it makes it easier on the person you're gonna only want to memorize a few of this if you were to reuse this, I don't mind if people try my way of putting on a presentation. It's my way. But you can pause on any of these slides if you need help figuring out what slide you're supposed to be doing at that point. Just check out this video. It will make it a lot easier on you guys. I know how hard it was to make a Prezi when I first started Prezi's, but I'm hoping showing you guys this on how to do it. And then I had how and why 
he it was founded basically here's my summarized i'm gonna look away from the text now basically hasbro was founded as originally a like they started off selling pencils and they started selling lunch boxes but as time progressed they started doing toys and then everything picked up after that then they started having their own television shows made and then it was also the first ever business to release an action figure so that's where action figures came from see i summarized it even if i didn't have stuff on the slide and what is hasbro mostly known for it was easy for this one because they had many different things they were famous for for they were famous for the transformers of course gi joe my little pony Lil's pet shop they were also famous for their many games toys like sorry monopoly the game of life even scribbler and as you see i put images in my presentation to show some of the things they were famous for like i put the things i put up here so and then found images of things they made, made so that it would give a better image of what they did. It's really good if you have images to show what it was good for. And then they had many different logos. Hasbro was very... I, I honestly didn't know there were this many logos for Hasbro. It was a really interesting thing to do. There was Hasbro Studio, Hasbro Gaming, Hasbro, Hasbro Preschool, and then Hasbro Incorporated, which I found pretty interesting. And then I grabbed some videos off of YouTube. If you search up this presentation, you, which I'll leave a link to it in the description below, so you guys can watch these videos that I put in there. If you want to leave a like, please leave a like. If you have a comment on why I went overboard with the ponies, it's because I'm a brony. Deal with it. The next one, I had my work cited. It's always best to have your work cited in a presentation. When you get in college, you're going to want to have work cited so that it's easier. And since I had a lot of things cited and I used a lot of other people's artwork, I had this site that I used Google, Google Photos. If you use Google Photos, you say you use Google Photos. If you use the wiki link, you use the wiki link, but most teachers do not like it when you use Wikipedia because they don't believe it to be trustworthy. If you added a YouTube video in, you gotta put the links to the YouTube video so that the teacher can make sure that it is accurate and that they can find the same video you put inside of the presentation. It's really good to have. Most of this artwork was not mine. It was other people's that I found online. <clears throat> and then I put other things that were made. And then I had this to end my presentation. It's best to tell them that it's the end or thank you for listening or saying this ends my presentation it makes it a lot easy to end the presentation it's a very blunt conclusion please remember these presentations are really really crucial if you don't know how to do a prezi me i'll show you um how to add a youtube video into a prezi but right now i'm just going to show you what a prezi is like and that basically ends the prezi and Honestly, you guys, I think this is one way to do a presentation if you're doing it on a business. But I'm going to close out of this one. And this was my one for the end of high school. And now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. How do I go back? As you can see, I had a lot of different photos from that year. 
I also used this for my economics class. As you can see, I went severely overboard with my pictures, but I had pictures of friends all throughout my school years. These were some of the football friends I made when I was their manager for freshman year. This was a friend I made during my sophomore year and my senior year. And then I made these friends in video production when we were making our video production videos for Canyon High School's rallies. If you go check out the Canyon High School's news network, there is a video somewhere on there of our um, heart rally video for 2017 and uh, for, no, our heart rally for from last year and basically I was in that video and if you guys really enjoy seeing what I look like in that, if you guys really want to see um, what that video looks like, I'll try and find it and leave a link in the description below. If I can't find it, I can't find it. This is more of when I was at school and this is when I was in Yes I, during a Yes I Can class, so was this. This is my friend Tina. And then, like, I had all my friends here, so, like, I had progression. And then I had one of my logos put up here, because to show that my time passed me by, you're going to want to put a freshman year. You're going to label it that. And if you want to pause on any of these slides and read them, feel free to do so. And then I had to put what clubs I was a part of. I was a part of a lot of clubs. I was part of Defy, Chessmate, CEO, and other board games, Anime Club, and many, many others. And My Little Pony United Club, I cr founded all by myself. I'm hoping it's doing really good on the campus, but um, I doubt it. And then on my sophomore year, I joined the tennis team which was very interesting it was very interesting because i always came with like a my little pony plushie of rainbow dash and then they started calling me rainbow dash because i had the plushie with me all the time so that kind of stuck with me and then when one of them appeared in yes i can um they kept calling me rainbow dash on my junior year, I was a part of a rally, basically. I wore my My Little Pony blanket as a cape that day. And to that day, people still say I did a pretty good job of that rally. Because I didn't really follow the script. I did my own thing. All I had to do was remember the names I was saying, and that was about it. That was their only rule. As long as I introduced them, they did not care. And I also put paid a page for all thanking all of my teachers that inspired me which was Miss Fur, Miss Barnes, Mr. Lee, our graphics art teacher, Mr. Kovacs, which was my math, Coach Clark, which my was my history and economics, movie making was my was Tagger Lee, which helped me be able to record these videos and show them to you guys. Ceramics was Mr. Malloy, if you guys watched the um Canyon High School ceramics video that was made by him and then health was Mr. Shakir by the way um this girl right here is Elijah I just want to make a huge shout out to Elijah and Magna 5 you guys are awesome and you guys are fantastic I just wish you guys would visit more often I hang Hung out with Elijah and Marco from Magna 5 yesterday at Six Flags Magic Mountain during Fright Fest. It was really fun to see her again, and I just hope she's doing okay right now. What I have done with my knowledge at COC, I basically said this because um, it's kind of true. Because I started writing my own fanfic. I am still working on it i've called it five days in equestria and then i started drawing on my computer i started making my youtube videos 
and I became a lot more outgoing. My teacher, Coach Clark, found it quite weird that I put this here. Actually, he didn't find it weird. He asked me whose idea was it to put this image in here, and I was like, it was my idea because I thought it was really funny, and I thought um, people would laugh if they saw it, but no one laughed. He just thought it was really interesting. And then my senior year, which was my last year, it was great, yet I felt like I had a lot of, I felt like it was like all my other semesters added into one. Because there was a lot more pressure to me, and there was a lot more pressure added to me, and a lot more was expected, and it was so much pressure that I could barely handle it. But moving on, the next slide I had, my plan after high school which was to go to college learn animation so that I could become an animator and then my and then I had some videos added I'll go back I want to go back. I can't show those videos apparently, but they're on my channel. And then I had my, this concludes my presentation and what I do on my channel. Um, and then this was my conclusion. And then the thanks for watching and then that image and then that concluded the full presentation. And then it, I'm going to hit escape. But now I'm also going to show you how to make a presentation. There's Prezi Classic and Prezi Next. I have never used Prezi Next. But I'm pretty sure the premise is basically the same. Um... I don't want to check out what I can do yet, but I'm going to show you how to use a classic presentation. You're going to click new presentation. I'm going to show you how to add um, more bubbles if you need them, or, and I'm going to show you how to add in a YouTube video and some images. So I'm going to select my thing, which is what I want it to look like, and I'm going to go with, um, let's think I want um sure clockwork I'm gonna go with clockwork and say I'm doing something on the MLP movie say I'm doing something on the MLP movie the My Little Pony movie what I'm going to want to do, if I want to add another bubble, if I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to say what it is. No, I'm going to say why. First slide would be why it is, why I'm talking about this, what or what it is, or anything like that. But if you are running low on slides, like say you make it to your last slide and... I'm just going to randomly type in gibberish right here. Don't yell at me. I'm just typing in gibberish. So for an example, say you're out of room on a slide and then, oh, I can click to add a new frame. But the best thing to do when you add a new frame is drag it away, make it larger, click it, click to the side of it then enter it if this thing wants to stop seeing me and if you click anywhere on the page it will allow you to type again and to change your color you're going to want to go up here you can change it to light blue purple red any of these colors and to insert an image you're going to go to insert and you're going to click image you can choose it from here. And 
trying to answer yeah. what yeah. He's not gonna listen. Easy come, easy go. That's just. Basically what I just did there, I went to a video of mine, I clicked control C, and then I hit insert YouTube video, and then I hit control V and inserted the URL. Now if I hit present, moving and go through all my slides the slide with the video Can you feel it? Now it's coming back. And then you can hit escape to escape it. And that's basically how you use a Prezi presentation. If you want to customize your Prezi, you go there. But if you leave, it saves. It should. See, your presentation will automatically save itself. So you don't need to worry about ever going back to edit. Thus, that ends my video on how to use Prezi presentation. I hope you guys find this useful for future um, uses. Good luck in high school and college. This should help you a bit, but I hope you found this info very helpful. And I hope to see you all in the next video. So enjoy your the rest of your wonderful week. Enjoy a happy Halloween. And I hope you all stay safe. And to Magna5, I just want to shout you guys out. Because you guys are really awesome. And I hope to see you all very soon. And yes, I can. Be safe. Be good. And stay yes, I can. Bye-bye.